So I often get asked, can you play World of Tanks competitively for free? There's a lot of people that will comment on videos saying, you know, Worlds, this is really, really good content, but I use a 75% crew. Can I be competitive? In light tanks, yeah, man. 75% crew is not good because light tanks really... Crew is the most important on light tanks, I would argue, because everything applies, right? Concealment, um, your accuracy, your view range, like everything. Like you really want to have 100% crew, even if you're working on your first, um, you know, perk here. I would say you really want to have 100% crew on your light tanks. I think 75% crew is more manageable on tank destroyers, heavies. Um, already, you're going to miss a lot of shots, but you can get by. Like, I feel like with light tanks, you really need the 100% crew. Now, I'm going to give you guys some tips and also just speak from the heart. This isn't going to be a super organized video. Please don't get upset with the organization. I didn't plan this out or anything. I did want to write some notes down on my phone and kind of go through it. But to me, like it, my videos are always better when I kind of just wing it. I hate to say it. Like I know there are a lot of content creators that organize all their content, but for me, I seem to flow way better in my videos when I just speak to you guys. So here's where I'm going to start with this. I'm going to tell you guys kind of how you can play this game for free competitively. It's kind of a loaded answer because it's a lot harder to do so. And before I do that, I'm just going to say one thing. There are going to be pay to win players, guys. And if you are a complete free to play player, you have to be able to accept this, that there's going to be pay to win players. I pay $10 a month now with WAP Plus, and that's more than enough for me with the gold reserve and everything when I'm actually playing because I haven't played in a few weeks. All the videos you're seeing because um, I'm going to post this as an extra maybe tomorrow or something. But all the videos you've been seeing like last few weeks are from weeks ago, right? I've been taking a break. I can't play tanks consistently like every day, man, like that much. So I will play a good amount of tanks, get some content for you guys, and then play something else for a couple weeks. But anyway, guys, the thing is, Wargaming has made the game so that it's free. But as you dive into it, you're going to participate in microtransactions because that's the way that they have organized it so that you're basically pay to win, right? And even if you're paying five to $10 a month and you play the game for a year, that's still more money um, for Wargaming than if you just flat out bought the game for 60 or $70, like most games are still to this day. But with that in mind, again, most games are actually around $70 brand new, you have to understand that people are going to be willing to pay for, you know, 100% crews, and they're willing to buy gold in this game, right? I am, I just do the monthly subscription now because $10 a month, like I said, is plenty for me. There are some people that spend like hundreds of dollars on this game in, you know, a matter of months. I don't know how they do that, but there are very competitive players. But you have to be willing to understand that, guys, and not get mad at people that are paid to win. You're going to have the gold spammers. I only shoot the gold rounds when I need to, but I can't emphasize this enough, guys. I it's, This is a phrase I like to say in a lot of my videos, but I really mean it in this case. You can't get mad at these players because it's going to happen. Like every game, you're going to find these players that are very competitive, and it's no different than anything else in life, right? If you want to have the best business, you're going to want the best equipment. If you want the best sports team, you're going to want the best players on your team. You're going to want the best, right? Overall, um, you're, you're going to want the best equipment and you're going to want the best you know, crew and you're going to want all the best stuff because it, what's, it, it is what makes you most competitive. No different than any other business that's run in the world, right? You're going to want the best stuff to make the most profit and attract the most people, whatever. You guys understand what I'm saying. It's the same like everywhere, right? So that's the way people are going to be. If people didn't pay for this game, Wargaming wouldn't be in business. You wouldn't see my videos. You wouldn't see Skill for LTU's videos. You wouldn't see any videos because this game wouldn't exist, right? So I hope that makes sense and I hope that's clear and I hope that anyone who gets really mad at people that even just pay five to ten dollars a month like me i would consider myself like half free to play i know that doesn't really make sense but i only spend now ten dollars a month uh, on this game there are a lot of people that you know have premium year round um, especially content creators i don't even have premium right now you can see i'm on standard account so with all that being said i hope that that is 
I hope that it's informative to you guys, but I really want you guys to not go after these people that are paying hundreds of dollars a month. I know it's crazy. I think these people are crazy too, but when you see gold spammers in the game, you have to be willing to just breathe and not get so angry because it's really what's keeping wargaming in business. And even though I'm not one of those content creators that's going to tell you guys, yo, go buy this tank, go buy this tank that Wargaming's doing, you know, broken, you know, new things. That all you have to do is spend this amount of money. Like, I'm not encouraging guys whatsoever to spend money um, on World of Tanks, and I'm not encouraging you guys to go give money to Wargaming. I'm just saying that they have a business to run, and ultimately that's the way life goes, and that's the way the world works. All that being said, let's move on to how you can kind of play this game competitively free, for free, right? So as an example, I want to start off with my dad, right? My dad's been playing this game since I think 2013 or 2014. Um, he's been playing it a long time. I think more like a year more than I've been playing it. So, and this was way before the HD rework of the game, right? My dad used to get gift cards from my mom. I did as well. She would give us gift cards for our birthdays and Christmas, they don't make those anymore. Like that's how long we've been playing World of Tanks, but they used to be $25 to $50 gift cards or whatever. And we would use those. My dad got a couple of premium tanks. He got some gold. He got what he needed. And now, because he sold so many tanks and only plays a few tanks, he has so much coin and he has such good crews from all of the battle pass and holiday ops and just everything that he can play the game completely free of play now for like years, right? He's got like 40 million credits or something crazy like that. So he can just play. And plus he has premiums and he has tons of the um, reserves, the, the credit reserves. And he'll get free premium days here and there. And then he can just grind premiums and he never has to pay anymore. So the point I'm trying to make is you have to get up to that level of being able to play competitively for free. But in order to do that, you could speed up the process by just paying initially, or you can just go and do the long grind through the whole process, right? And what I mean by this is Battle Pass will offer you days of premium. They'll offer you crew books. They'll offer you um, bonds. They'll offer you, you know, everything, right, guys? You get everything, all kinds of stuff from, from this. And then Holiday Ops as well. Even if you're a free-to-play player, you will get a lot of stuff from Holiday Ops. And you build up these reserves. You build up these little directives. You build up um, crew members even. You will get crew members from Holiday Ops and from Battle Pass. And then this way, you don't need to spend gold on getting 100% crew. You can just plop people like Arnold Schwarzenegger right into your tank, right? So I hope that this kind of makes sense. Like, there's a level to get to where you can play World of Tanks com comfortably for free, but it's getting up to that level, right? So if you're just starting the game, it's going to take you forever, man, to get up there, right? I just suggest spending some initial money and getting a premium. However, there's also the bond store. So if you're able to build up enough bonds, you can you can win battles and even lose battles and get bonds. Like as long as you're not spending them on anything like directives, you can get them and then go spend even 1,500 bonds on the M10. My dad has like 20,000 bonds because, again, he's been playing the game forever. He never uses directives. And I got him the, N10, the M10. I said, I hope you don't mind. Like, occasionally I'll go in his account. When I was when I went to New Jersey, I was I was home. I was at my parents' place. And I played on his account, and I got him the M10. It's a, it's a premium. It's only 1,500 bonds, guys. Now, keep in mind that you're going to get more at tier eight, like more credits, but you can get the credit reserves through um, stuff like Battle Pass for free, and you can get the M10 for free, you can get crew members for free, and then you can just, using everything you, you get from the events that Wargaming has, you can put 100% crew, crew members into your M10, it's a premium, and then get like a premium day from Battle Pass. Time it well so that you get it on a weekend or whenever you're off. Use the premium day. Use the credit reserve. Play your premium that you got all for free and you can get the credits. So hopefully this makes sense to you. Like there are a lot of ways to use the events and play the game for free. Like you can do it. It just takes you so much longer and it's so much more comfortable to pay five, 10 bucks a month or whatever so that you can use the gold rounds and so that you can be a little more competitive. I now use the Watt Plus. Again, it's 
perfect for me. $10 a month, you get the gold reserve so that when I'm playing, I make enough gold so that when I get to the next tank, I can just use a, um, you know, 500, 600, 800 gold. I can, I can make a transaction. Um, but I actually, it's really not even a transaction because I already have the gold. But you guys get what I'm saying. I can get 100% crew basically for free, even though I'm paying $10 a month. But, you know, I'm trying to make it make sense for you guys and put it as simple, simply as I can, right? But hopefully that makes sense, right? You got to get to this level first where you can play the game comfortably. But to get there, it's going to take you a lot longer when you're free to play than if you just do a pay to win for a particular period of time and get to that level. Now, me, you guys know I'm a community contributor. So the $10 a month, like I actually make that money back from my content now if I'm putting out videos almost every day. So like this really, it doesn't matter to me, but I know times are tough guys. Like you go down to the local sandwich shop and it's now $10 for a sandwich, right? So I, to me, to me I just pay the $10 a month, but dude, like, Things are getting really expensive. There's a lot of inflation, especially in the States. I get it, guys. Um, but hopefully this helps you out to, you know, maybe manage your um, money a little bit better, your credits and whatever, and understanding like how bonds work. And you can, you know, do certain things for free. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that that helps you guys out. But again, if you're completely free to play, you have to understand and just accept that there's going to be pay to win players. You can't be mad about that, right? So again, bond store guys, get your premium. Use a, a day of premium that you get from the battle pass. Use crew members that you get from holiday ops or whatever. And that's how you can play the game for free. Just use everything you have from the events. And one more thing, guys, go to your depot. And you have so many things in here that you'll earn that you might not need. For instance, I don't need fire extinguishers. I'd never use them. I just sell them. Like if you don't need things, just sell them. You'd be amazed if you guys have played this game for years and you've never gone into this uh, depot. Just go in here and like, I'm telling you, man, you will find stuff that you don't need. You, you, will, you will absolutely find things that you don't need. I keep this pretty clean but you might have like 10 Binox and you can just sell like eight of them, for instance, right? Um, and you can make a bunch of credits that way too. Like I'm telling you, it's it's not that hard if you've been playing the game for a while, but if you're brand new, then it's going to take some time. I hope that helps you guys out. I hope it explains some things. I hope that um, there's not so much of a divide between pay to win and free to play, right? Like you guys have to understand Wargaming does this on purpose, they have a business to run. And if no one spent the gold um, to be competitive, they wouldn't have a game for us to play. So as much as I don't like buying gold and all these things, uh, you know, I don't necessarily like having to pay $10 a month. I don't have to, but I do. Because that to me makes the game easier to play and it makes bringing content um, to you guys easier as well. So that's all guys. I apologize for this video being really disorganized, but again, I, I just love to, to just talk, to just turn the camera on and talk to you guys. And I hope it all makes sense. And I hope it's informative. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye now.